Hello and welcome to the Sketchables tutorial for stencils. Let's open up the Sketchables application and jump right in to a journals page. Okay, so we all know how hard it is to draw the perfect straight line or even the perfect circle. Ouch, that looks bad. That's why the Sketchables application has the stencils tool. Stencils allow you to create precise lines, curves and shapes. Simply activate the stencil tool, select your shape and then position and paint. Wherever my stylus is down, the ink will snap to the closest possible point on the stencil. Allowing the most inconsistent and inconcise lines to create exact predefined shapes. Like a real life stencil, I can use as little or as much of the stencil as I wish. I can move the stencil and carry on drawing with it by dragging the white point in the center. At any time I want, I can also change the shape that I'm using. And at any point whilst I'm drawing, I can also change the orientation or the size of my stencil by altering the two white points at either side of my stencil. If the line isn't long enough or the stencil isn't big enough for my liking. Stencils are a great way to do technical work or just add that little bit of precision into everyday artwork. The curved path stencil can itself be manipulated exactly as any vector object can be manipulated by the points at either end, meaning that you can create your own distinct shapes. The stencil tool also offers you the ability to draw on the line or outside of the line. Simply click the preferred option here to draw outside of the stencil's line. If you're happy with your stencil at any point, you can always click the green check mark or the red cross. You can also lock your layer or go into the stencil settings where you can manually enter X positions or Y positions for your stencils so you get them exactly perfect for where you want them. Meaning if you want them dead center or if you want stencils that are exactly a third of the page, then you can have it. Right, that's the end of the tutorial. I've been Lawrence Mann. Any comments, leave them below. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.